I'm up here north Minnesota right now with the Black Hole Ice Shack. I'm out on early ice doing some ice camping. I'm gonna show you a walk around of this thing, show you how I got it set up when I'm camping out on the ice. We've got our door that we can go ahead and unzip. Head on in and the first thing that you see across the back is I've got a table set up. I've, I put my laptop up there, use it as a cooking table, use it to organize stuff. Lots of different purposes for that. I've got the bunks in here. So the bunks that I'm using are the Disco Bed XL bunks. I'm using the bottom layer just for storage. And then I've got hole covers, bags, and rod uh, boxes underneath. You get these nice organizers that hang off of the side. So I've got my phone, charger, knife, like I have, I wear glasses, so I got my glasses case in there. You got a water bottle holder. I got my coffee mug down there. This works great to keep all of your storage stuff off of the floor and still use the floor for the things that you don't care if they get a little bit damp. I can move this shack, pull it around with my ATV out on the ice, and this stuff doesn't move in here at all. On the top here, I've got a air mattress that is amazingly comfortable. And then on top of that, I've got my sleeping bag. This is a great sleeping bag. I'll link everything down in the description if you see anything here as we're going through that you're interested in picking up. As we keep going from this back corner, carbon monoxide detector. So if you're gonna be sleeping overnight, this is critical. I'm probably gonna get a second one, better safe than sorry. I've got four of the Otter lights and four hog outdoor lights, which I'm testing this year. So looking at this back corner, I've got the table here. Uh, one of the things that I've got on the table is this is a Rock Pals uh, power supply. So this is a, got a battery in it. You can kind of see the screen on it here. It tells me my percentage left, my watt output. I use this because it's got an outlet on it to charge things like my auger battery. Works absolutely wonderful. The great thing about this is I can recharge this off of like an amped outdoors battery if I want, or I've got a 100 watt solar panel that I can plug into it, run the cord outside, set, set it on the roof of the shack, and it will charge up during the day. Back here, I've got, you've got a, uh, a nice little pocket here. There's two pockets, one here and one up front, which I'll show you in a second. But I've just got some of these. These are cat's covers for the catch cover holes that are in here. These are great, I bring four along. I've got two in the floor right now, which I'll show you. But that's what I use. And then of course, energy drink, drink of choice for me. Underneath the table, what I've got is just storage again. So I've got uh, one of my big power boxes in the back there that runs all the shack lighting, everything that's like wired into here. But this thing will run for a week plus with just shack lights, fans, and other things getting plugged into them like phones randomly. I've got another power box here. I actually have two of these. The other one I've got set up in the other corner, which you'll see. I've got my Garmin whole hop unit. It's a GT10 with a 73 SV screen, some power cords. This is all my camera gear in here. In the back, I've got my drone in that case. The orange bag is a trash bag. In each corner, I've got these hooks. These are the otter hooks that wrap around the bar. I've got one in each corner. I hang hats from them. The one over the bed, as you saw, I've, I don't have anything on it right now. Up front, I've got one with a hat on it and my striker jacket. And then the other corner, I've got another light jacket. These are the two fans that I have on the ceiling. They are located directly above the heater. Again, I'll link these in the description below in case you want to pick them up. These things are fantastic. So you can actually run with one click of a button. It's on low for the fan, medium, and high. And it, click it again to turn it off. And it actually has a light built into it too. So um, high, medium, low, and off. I've got them plugged in. They use micro USB cable. But I ran these for about eight hours on high fan off of the built-in battery before they needed to be recharged. So now I've just got a cord running directly down to that power box under the table that I had showed you earlier. Last things on the ceiling that I wanna point out is I've got these two quick clamp accessories. I'm trying these out right now. So this is a rod holder. This actually works really good with uh, this rod because it's a little bit tight. So I can shove the rod up in there and then I can hang it from the ceiling and it goes down into my corner hole that I have up here. So that works out really good. And then Quick Clamp also has this hanging uh, clip accessory and I've got my striker bibs hanging from that. Front corner in front of the bed, I've got a chair here. This is a super comfortable full swivel chair. I can push it out. I can do whatever I want with it. 
Otherwise, I can fold it down if I need to get behind it or if I'm putting it in the back of the truck. This will actually fit underneath my tonneau cover in my truck just like this. It does have the lifter handle on it so you can go up and down. It's a super comfortable chair with arms and a back on it. Behind that, I've got uh, another container here that I just have like water, soda, energy drinks and stuff in. And then I got my tackle bag back there, accessible for anything that I need to be swapping out line wise. And then here is that front pocket I was talking to you about. I've got rags in there, gloves, keys, just a bunch of accessory stuff, but those are nice to have. And then there are uh, two holes right here. So this is one of the cat's covers that I've got on top. The catch covers come with them for every single hole. There's a total of seven holes in this shack. Now, as we look at the other corner here, kind of below where I have my jacket hanging that we talked about earlier, I've got a bucket in the corner. I've got my walleye bump board back there, my boots with the spikes on them. I leave them at the door to, as to not track water and ice through. This is my other power box that I've got hooked up to my Yolo Tech stick, which is one of the things that I use for filming. I've got my camera setting here and then the Otter Sidekick. I bring one of these with, with a couple of rod holders. I highly recommend picking up these Otter Sidekicks if you can. Um, I've got two of them. They work in portables. They work when you're just sitting on a bucket outside and they obviously work in here too. So that's got my dead stick right now with a Shiner Minnow on it uh, down that hole. I've got my Live Scope transducer in this hole here. I've got my Garmin Live Scope unit there. And then this is where I keep my heater. This is the 20,000 BTU Flame King unit. Again, all the stuff's linked down below so you don't gotta remember it. This thing actually works really good in here even with the thermostat. It takes some getting used to to know where to put the dial. But what I love about it sitting there directly below the fans that I have on the ceiling. So these will blow air out at the other two corners of the shack. So as the heat rises, it'll get blown around. As we go back past the bed, there is actually a back door on this. So I'll open this guy up. There's a small table. This is a fold up table that I just leave out here so I can put my cooktop burner on that, heat up water, fry fish, whatever I want. My 20 pound propane tank in a melt crate fits perfectly there. And then I just have the hose run right through the door and I just have the zipper come right up to it. And then next to the table, I've got my cooker stove and I've got my bait cooler. The two salt guards slash ramps for your side-by-side -side or ATV that you're pulling on here work great as a wind block and they hold everything in. So you don't gotta move that stuff when you're moving around on the lake. That stuff stays put, doesn't move at all. 